Welcome to the official Global RPH YouTube channel. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on our latest and greatest videos. Influenza silently affects millions globally, causing considerable health and economic disruptions. Each year, healthcare systems face immense pressure, highlighting the virus's pervasive impact on public health. During severe flu seasons, hospitals struggle with overcrowded emergency rooms and a shortage of medical supplies. The economic toll is felt through increased absenteeism and productivity losses. Influenza viruses are categorized into four types, A, B, C, and D. Types A and B are primarily responsible for seasonal outbreaks, with subtypes like H1N1 and H3N2 causing notable concern. The virus's structure, featuring hemagglutinin and neuraminidase proteins, plays a crucial role in its classification and behavior, influencing how it spreads and mutates. Influenza B viruses are not divided into subtypes, but are categorized into two lineages, which are Victoria and Yamagata. Influenza spreads mainly through respiratory droplets when an infected person coughs or sneezes. It can also spread by touching contaminated surfaces and then touching the face. The incubation period for influenza is typically one to four days, with an average of two days. Infected individuals can spread the virus from about one day before symptoms appear to five to seven days after onset. Common symptoms of influenza include fever, cough, sore throat, runny or stuffy nose, muscle or body aches, headache, fatigue, tiredness, chills. Some people, especially children, may also experience vomiting and diarrhea. Diagnosis. Healthcare professionals can diagnose influenza based on clinical symptoms and physical examination. However, lab tests can confirm the diagnosis and identify the specific type of influenza virus, Common diagnostic tests include the following. Rapid influenza diagnostic tests, or IDTs. Rapid molecular assays. Reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction, RT-PCR, and viral culture. Rapid tests provide quick results, while RT-PCR offers precise identification, crucial for managing outbreaks and tailoring patient care effectively. Antiviral medications are the primary treatment for influenza. They can reduce the severity and duration of illness if started early. Commonly used antiviral drugs include Oseltamivir, Zanamivir, Relenza, Paramivir, Rapivab, and Biloxivir, Marboxyl, Isofluza. These medications are most effective when administered within 48 hours of symptom onset. Supportive care, including rest and hydration, complements antiviral treatment, helping alleviate symptoms and speed up recovery. Annual vaccination remains the most effective preventive measure against influenza, recommended for everyone aged six months and older. Other preventive measures include frequent hand washing with soap and water, using alcohol-based hand sanitizers, avoiding close contact with sick individuals, covering coughs and sneezes with a tissue or elbow, and cleaning and disinfecting frequently touched surfaces. Influenza can lead to serious complications, especially in high-risk groups such as young children, older adults, 65 years and older, pregnant women, people with weakened immune systems, and individuals with chronic medical conditions. Possible complications can include pneumonia, myocarditis, encephalitis, myositis, and multi-organ failure. Understanding these risks underscores the importance of targeted prevention and treatment strategies for vulnerable populations. Effective surveillance monitors virus activity, detects outbreaks, and guides public health responses. Key components include Virological surveillance, monitoring circulating virus types and subtypes. Disease surveillance, tracking influenza-like illness, ILI, in the community. Outbreak investigation, rapid response to unusual influenza activity, and finally monitoring antiviral resistance. Healthcare professionals play a pivotal role in pandemic preparedness through surveillance, vaccine development, and implementing response plans during outbreaks. Stockpiling antivirals and enhancing surveillance systems are crucial steps in reducing potential pandemic impacts. Frequently asked questions, what are the main influenza strains expected in 2025? The 20, 
24 to 2025 flu season targets strains like AH1N1, AH3N2, and influenza B strain, Victoria. How effective are current vaccines? Effectiveness ranges from 40 to 60 percent, varying with strain evolution. Advanced technologies aid in tracking and predicting virus changes. What advanced technologies are being used to track influenza evolution? Next-generation sequencing techniques, AI-powered strain prediction models, and global surveillance networks are being utilized to monitor influenza evolution and transmission patterns across 130 WHO member states. Potential pandemic risks are associated with the rapid evolution of highly pathogenic avian influenza strains. Factors such as high-density farming practices, limited biosecurity measures, and increased wildlife-human contact amplify these risks. Continuous strain monitoring and vaccine development are crucial for pandemic preparedness. Thank you for watching our global RPH production. If you found it enjoyable and informative, please consider liking the video and subscribing to our brand new YouTube channel.